<laughs> oh my god, watch where you're going. No, you watch where you're going. You Why were you looking, looking at, at your phone. No, you were. I, well. I, uh, we both were, weren't we? I guess. Yeah. This is Jessie and you're back with hashtag share a tip. In this episode, we're going to be talking about our relationship with technology. Is it good? Is it bad? Do we really know the pros and cons of using social media? And finally, do you have some juicy tips to maintain a healthy relationship with technology? Let's find some people. Let's go. I'm majoring in robotics. I think it's healthy. I think it's not very healthy. Always studying and like on my computer and social media, just taking a break. I'm quite dependent on technology. I'm from computer engineering representing. I do try to maintain a healthy balance, go for physical lectures and tutorials. All the exams are online. I don't like technology. <laughs> <laughs> I am quite disciplined in many ways, so my relationship is quite healthy. <laughs> Begin with the biggest con, get distracted very easily by social media. It's quite addictive. They spend too much time on social media and it becomes like their whole world. Pros, of course, it helps you to uh, connect with the, your community, find my identity. Because I'm an international student, I can keep in touch with my friends and family back home. Block of time in which you can use social media and blocks in which you don't. Live life in the real world too. I play a lot of tennis. That's my best way to turn off. Everything you do, moderation is key. What works best for me sometimes is just rage quitting and just delete Instagram. <gasps> He's deleting it now! It's all okay. Gone. Pay more attention to your health and to relationships. And if you feel that technology is impacting that, approach life a little bit differently. We've heard some great insights from our friends here on how to maintain a healthy relationship with technology. We can take a break by doing sports. We can also maximize our face-to-face -face interaction with our friends. And finally, we can always schedule a time on when to use social media so that we don't overdo it. Thanks for tuning in in this hashtag share a tip series. We learned so much about goal setting, about having healthy boundaries in our relationships, and also having a great and healthy relationship with technology. I'll see you next time. Bye.